Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome back everybody. The network was bad. Let us share please. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back. It was network or network or Hannah. Hallelujah. Can we share again? Welcome back, welcome back everybody. This is the continuation. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. The network went off. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We surrender to your will, Jesus. We surrender to you, Father. We surrender, Lord. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender. 
We surrender, Jesus. We surrender, Jesus. Libra gados kandala bashin de rebos. Reprakata la bakatos kendele lebos kandarabash. Ibro gados kendele bakatolia. Bagados kendele lebos. Iprakatos kendele bagadosia. Oh, we worship your majesty. 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 Lord, we worship you. You are worthy to be praised and adored. You are worthy to be lifted, O oh God. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the Lord of hosts. Rebragados kendeli bashinderia. Rabragada da bas kendele bo si katara bas kendele bo kotori arabas. Raprakata ta 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 bas kondolo bo sinteri gababa. Reprokotos kendele bo kotori ya. Rantes kenteri bakatolia bagados kendele bo kotori ya. E masanta rabas sinteri bo 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 si keteri bagados ya. Lantos kendele bo sinteri arabo si kete. Father, we worship your holy name. Father, we worship your holy name. Oh God, we exalt you. You are worthy to be praised and adored. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Who is like you, Jesus, in all the earth? Who can be compared with you, King of glory? You are Jesus. 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 Libra gados in Father, you are worthy to be praised and adored. Oh, bas konto robo si keteri adabash. La bagada da basi ketetetete bagados kenderi bosin toria katolia. Lord, we worship your majesty. 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 We worship you, King of Glory. Raprakatos kendeli bagados in terebosi keteri bagadosi anda. Lante ribakatas kendele de bosh. Ribragados kandarabakute rikalakatosia. Mas kendele bos kandarabakute kayanda. Leprakatos kende ribakatolia. Mashente rabakatos in darabababakure ketes. Labagada rebokotori kalakatosia. Lantos kendele bos kandalalabosh in tarabas kendele bos. Oh, Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, we worship you Lord Jesus. We worship you, ancient of days. We worship you, King of glory. We exalt your holy name. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou glorified, O God. Be lifted on high, Jesus. Father God, let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus, you are Jesus, hallelujah. You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega, hey. You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. Alpha and Omega. You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. 
God bless every one of you. God bless you all. You are welcome in Jesus' name. This is part two. We started before and the network cut us, cut us off. So um, we're just going to continue from where we stopped by the grace of God. So if you are just coming, can you share please and invite other people to join us? Hallelujah. I'm trying to invite some people back about uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mashan talabas kendelebo sike teribaka talabas. It's shaking, right? Because I'm trying to hold it in my hands. It's still shaking. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. You are welcome. I have to keep it down. It's shaking. I wanted to rest my back, you see. And just push it close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We surrender. We submit. God bless all of you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. We are studying the book of John series. I mean, sorry, Elijah series, not John. We finished John already. So we're going to go back. Well, we are reading Elijah chapter... I mean, Elijah. <laughs> we are reading Elijah indeed. <laughs> we are reading the book of uh, 2 Kings chapter 1. 2 Kings 1. Praise the Lord. And uh, we stopped at... Um, please, you can go back um, to the platform and you read the first part of the message. Uh, we're just going to continue from where we stopped. Because the, for, um, the network, um, we were, um, network cut us off at the end of... Um, towards that one. So we're on a page, uh, verse Second Kings chapter one. We're on verse. Where did we stop? Verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. We're on verse fifteen. So can you share again? Can you share host watch party? Invite people. Invite them back again, and God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. And so we're talking about the king. And the, the third he sent, the third 50 captain with the, the third captain with his 50 men to go get Elijah. But when the third one came, he humbled himself. So we are talking about humility when the video cut us off. This guy humbled himself before the servant of God. Man of God, please have mercy. We are your servants. My colleagues were here. Two of my colleagues came and fire consumed them. And then we said because of his humility, in verse, six, in verse 15, and the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him unto the king. And he said unto him, thus saith the Lord, for as much as thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Baal Zebub, the god of Ekron, is it not because there is no God? Is it that there is no God in Israel to inquire of his word? Therefore, thou shalt not come down of that bed on which thou art gone up. Thou shalt surely die. This thing is that from verse 1, the king of Israel, Ahab's son, he was sick. And so he sent his men to go and inquire from the idol gods. If he was going to survive that sickness, 
And then on the first video, we're asking, where do you go for, for inquiries? How do you make inquiries? Where is your source? And we talked about God. Many people, we said that many people, even though they are abroad, they are still ordering charms from Africa. They are still, are still ordering charm from China. And they are ordering charm from wherever. Talisman here and there. They go to voodoo priests. All because they are looking for protection. And yet they are in church. They go to church. So who do you think is protecting you? There is no power in all of these things. They are all fake. It is only in Christ Jesus that you can be hidden. In this year, I was saying that we should be faithful to God. We should serve him with all sincerity. We should love him with all of our hearts. With everything in us. He is the God, the Lord of hosts. The almighty God. The everlasting Father, the unchangeable God, in him there is no failure. And then the king sent his men, go and bring Elijah. And the first one came, no respect. Oh man of God, the king says, come down. And the man of God sent fire to consume them. And the second one came, man of God. The king says, come down quickly. He even added quickly. The same fire consumed him. And then the third one came. And then we talked about manners of approach. The way you talk. The way you approach issues. How words comes out of your mouth. And then I was saying that because of big mouths, many people are in jail for what they know nothing about. Because they couldn't keep their mouth shut. Because they were trying to claim stance. Because of misrepresentations, because they did not have to shut their mouth. Today, they are paying for a crime they know nothing about. And we are talking about self-control. Control your tongues, how you speak. It cost these men their lives because they had no respect. They had no regard. Man of God, they were giving him all that from the king. The king Earthly king and heavenly king, who is greater? And Elijah was sitting there. His angels it was, was there to protect him. And the third, the third captain came with his, his men. He humbled himself. Oh, man of God. He approached the matter correctly. He humbled himself. And I say pride will cause you to lose the goodness of God in your life. Favor, blessing. See, pride, envy, jealousy, covetousness will cause you to lose favor with God and also with men. When man sees how greedy you are, they don't want anything to do, do, do with you. When men see how greedy you are, they don't want to come near you. When they see how unserious you are or how proud you are, even sometimes God can bring you before your helper of destiny and then you come before them. You are even proud. And then I took us to, I took us to the book of Acts chapter 10. Cornelius sent for Peter. And when Peter came to him, Cornelius is a big man. Cornelius is a rich man with servants. He did not go himself to fetch Peter. He sent his own servant, the guy Gohand. But when he saw the man of God, what did he do? He respect. The Bible says he bowed down before him and he worshipped the man of God. Even at that, the man of God did not take advantage of that. He told him, no, 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 stand up. I am a man like you. I am a man like you. And then where we stopped exactly was, we say, you, wife, you do not even bow to serve God. You do not kneel down to pray. You don't kneel down to pray in your house. You don't kneel down to greet your husband. And then you will get to church, daddy, mommy. You are putting your two knees on the ground for your daddy and your mommy. And I say, you are a hypocrite. If you do not put your two knees on the ground for your God in your closet, in your house, in your prayer time, you don't put your knees down to greet your husband. Why will you put your knee down to go and greet your papa, your spiritual papa and your spiritual mama? 
Daddy, hypocrisy in the body of Christ. I think that is where we stopped when the video cut off. I said that is hypocrisy big time. If you cannot, if you are not humble enough to go on your knees. Anyway, in prayers, you can take different positions. Sometimes I kneel on my bed. Sometimes I kneel on my floor. I lie down on the ground. I lie down on my bed. I sit on my chair. It depends on how I am feeling. But the bottom line, the point is that some people, they don't kneel down to pray. They don't kneel down to greet their husband, but they'll be kneeling down to greet their papa, their, their pastor or mommy pastor. And I said, it is hypocrisy. What you cannot do before your husband or God. Some people, they don't even have regard for their husband. They are respecting pastor and pretending to be holy and righteous. And I was saying to us, be yourself. Let us see your weak points. Let us see your weakness so that we will know how to correct you. So that we will know how to counsel you. Don't come and begin to do holy, holy, righteous, righteous when you know your life is not right with God. When you know your ways are not right with God. Come on, share this broadcast so that people can catch up with, the, uh, with this one again. When your life is not right with God. This man came. The two captains that came before, they were so proud. They thought because they are, they are maybe they, they grab. They are, they are wearing weapons of war. They think it's by physical fight. Spiritual matters is a spiritual matter. And you cannot handle spiritual matter in the physical. You go in the spiritual to handle spiritual matter. It is not by the size of your height or, or the size of your shoe or the, 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 the how tall you are that you used to fight spiritual battle. Uh-uh. God bless you for sharing. It is not by that. The guy came thinking that, come, the king says, come down. Order from the king. And it must be followed. Did Elijah move? No. Sitting there on top of the, he said, hey, okay. If me, I am the man of God. Let fire come from heaven and consume you. And fire came from heaven. Don't mess with the words of the men and the women of God. Especially if they are anointed. Because God honors their words. Even if your pastor is heavily anointed, don't take them for granted. Don't provoke them. Don't provoke them. Oh. The second one too, no wisdom, no sense, no nothing. Came again. Eh? Man of God, God says, come down. No, not God. Eh, eh. The king says, come down. This one even add quickly. Quickly. Order from the king. Eh? Okay, if I be the man of God, let fire consume you. And fire consumed him. But when the third man came, he humbled himself. Humility will take you very far. When you are humble before God and man, when you are humble before God and man, it will take you far. But when you are proud, like you have arrived, you arrived. Look at Peter's reaction to Cornelius. When Cornelius bowed down and worshipped Peter, Peter said, no, 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 Cornelius. I am a man like you. But you see some daddy P, daddy Gio, pastor, they wanted to lie down flat. If you don't lie down to greet them, you are not a, you are not a faithful servant. They want to take God's glory for themselves. Nobody has any power. Not even yours sincerely have any power of my own. If I am relying on my own strength and ability, sorry, my dear. Failure. I have no power to heal you. I have no power to deliver you. I have no power to bring anything to pass in your life. All I have the power to do is to pray. God is the one that has the power to do everything. God is the one that heals you. Like a sister was healed yesterday. She sent her testimony. I'm going to post it later. She's online. Oh, I saw her online. She passed out at work. She fainted at work. And then she called me while at work. I prayed for her. When she got home, I prayed for her. In, and when she got she was feeling pain on her head, feeling some kind of well, whatever it was she was feeling. But after the prayer, she was in, before the, as before the prayer was ended, she was instantly healed by God. I didn't heal her. God did. 
God healed her. And her healing is permanent in Jesus' name. And today she sent me her, her testimony that she slept so well. But I have no, I didn't do it. All I did was pray. My father in heaven honored my words and healed her. So don't think that because you are heavily anointed, therefore you and God, you become mates. You become mates with God, no respect, no nothing. Or you become too familiar with your pastors that you don't have, they don't, you don't have regard for them. And I'll say, no, because you bought 2020, in fact, you already bought 2021 car. Therefore, you and your pastor becomes age mates. Even pastors. Because you are the father, you are the spiritual head of the church. Therefore, your members are nothing. A sister said, the pastor said, if not because, um, how did she say it? That one pastor said that right before her eyes, that if not because of God, you are not fit to be my gates man. Seriously? Human being like you is not fit to be a gates man. Because of what? It's not the way God created you that God created him. And then we are talking about power in your words. That many of you, you have no confidence in your own prayer. You have no confidence in your own word. Why is it so? Why are you running after prophets and pastors to pray for you? What is wrong with you praying for yourself? What is wrong with that? Must I be the one to pray for you? Must you begin to seek for prophets that will go to the mountain and pray for you? You pay them to pray for you? And I said, don't you remember? Don't you know the word of God says, that says, if this power that rose Jesus from the dead be in you, quicken it. Oh my God. It will quicken you for everything and anything. You need to, some of us, we underestimate the power of the Holy Ghost. I saw what the Holy Ghost did that made me, in fact, my respect for the Holy Ghost tripled, multiplied. When I saw what he did with Philips, when God told uh, Philips to go on a, to a certain place because of a eunuch in the book of Acts, I think it's Acts 7 or so. 6 or 7. I can't remember, but they are around that, that area. After, after Philip had ministered to this man, the eunuch is a Christian, but he, he lacked understanding in the word. And Peter ministered and taught him the word. As they were going, the man said, Ah, look at water. What stops me from getting baptized? Hey, God told Philip to go there. When Philip was there, God told him, Go near the, the chariot of that man. Philip obeyed, ran, even before the angel finished speaking. Philip ran there and saw the man reading the book of Isaiah, but he did not understand. And Philip opened him up to the word of God. And so when he has done that, as they were going, the man saw water and said, ah, what stops me from getting baptized? I believe. Peter said, if you, Philip said to him, if you believe, all things are possible. He said, yes, I believe. And Philip baptized him. The thing that caught my attention was the moment Philip finished baptizing this man. He disappeared and reappeared somewhere else. Hey, the Holy Ghost took him out of that environment. The Holy Ghost took Philip out of that environment. Philip evaporated from there and appeared in another city. I was like, whoa, that means you yourself, the Holy Ghost can do that with you. That was the first time I'm seeing that in the Bible. You see, that Philip disappeared. That Philip disappeared, evaporated. He was not in danger. And that reminded me of Dunamis TV. And it is even happening now. It is still that same power that was then. It still is now. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead. If it be in you, you can do and undo. The, there was a testimony from the Dunamis TV, Dunamis Church. The sister said she was kidnapped. That was, I had a testimony sometime last year before I saw this in the Bible. She said she was kidnapped 
And when they were kidnapped in the bush, she remembered Pastor Enetia's song. You are always there for me. You are always there to help me. Even when no one else was there. She closed her eyes and was singing that song. How many of you heard that testimony? She was singing the song. The gay evaporated in the camp of the enemies and appeared in the military zone checkpoints. She appeared in the military checkpoints. She evaporated from her kidnappers and appeared. She don't know how she got there. Holy Ghost took her. She, she just opened her eyes and saw that she was no longer there. Wow. How powerful is that? How powerful is that? And then when I was reading again, I saw it in Philip's. In the book of Acts of the Apostle, that Philip also evaporated after, uh, after baptizing the eunuch. Hey, I was like, wow, this is in the Bible. It is scriptural. That means if you are in a flight that is about to crash, you can say, Holy Ghost, take me out of here. You will see yourself at the airport <laughs> waiting for the plane. <laughs> it is possible. Now your fate. It is your fate. Oh, you are in danger. Maybe an accident is about to happen. You can close your eyes like that and say, Holy Ghost, take me out of this place. Holy Ghost will take you out. You will evaporate from there. Why everything? Even Dr. Paul and Nature said, even he himself one day was traveling and their car had an accident. Him, he doesn't know how he came out of the car, but he, he said him, he was sitting like many years ago. The same thing happened to him. He was, he saw himself sitting on the roadside with his bag, bag that was in the boots was beside him. Hey, you see how powerful the Holy Ghost is? You see how powerful he is? If we can believe in his power. He saw, that means he evaporated from the vehicle that was about to have an accident. He was sitting beside the, he was just sitting on the side of the road. It happened to Phillips. It happened to that girl. Here in our age, in our season, in our time. If the power that rose Jesus from the dead be in you, you will not be seeking for prophecy. You will not be seeking for prophets that will prophesy to you to come and tell you you will die tomorrow. Prophets of doom. You don't be seeking for that. Rather, you already have the power. Hey, he said, behold, I gave you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead is in you. Elijah had it. And by his spoken words, by his spoken words, 50 people, 102 people died on the spots because they had no manners, because they had no respect. Because they don't know their right from their left. They don't even know the, 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 the capacity or the ability of the person that they were talking to. Anyhow. I am telling you that there is power in your own tongue. There is power in your mouth. If only you yourself, you will believe. You speak those things that are not as though they were. You speak those things that are not as though they are. It is stop looking for fish. Stop looking for fish. You are 10 years old in the Lord. You are still drinking milk. Milk is for babes. How can you be 5 years old? There is in Christ Jesus. And there is nothing to write home spiritually about you. How can you be one year old in Christ and there is nothing to write home about you spiritually? How can you be six months old in Christ? You are still where you were before, even before you became a Christian. My God. It is wrong. It is an error. How can you be following this platform, this ministry with all our fasting, all our preaching, all our messages? You are still living in sin. Hey, error. You are waiting for me to be righteous for you. No, sir. No, ma. Salvation is a personal matter. My own is what I'm doing now. Teaching you the truth. It is your choice to obey. And I was saying, if you love somebody, you will do everything within your power to make them happy. You cannot love God that you are living in sin. 
It is not possible. You don't love God. You don't love God. And I put it to you that you don't love God. If you love your wife, your husband, you will put extra effort to please them. No matter how tired you are, you still want to cook for your husband. No matter how tired you are, you still want to satisfy your husband. No matter how tired you are, you still want to do things to make him happy. If you love God, you cannot say you love God. You are living in sexual immorality. You are still telling lies. You are still playing hide and seek with him. You cannot say you love God. And your ways are not right with him. Because if you love God, if you told a lie, ordinary lie, lie like this, so you'll be restless. You'll be restless. You will be restless as if you just killed somebody. You'll be asking for, hey, by mistake, you just told a lie. Oh, Father, oh, Father. You feel so remorseful. You feel like, oh, I have stained my garment. Oh, no, Lord, help me, wash me. You'll be repenting, sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. You cannot be comfortable in sin. And you say you love God. No, you don't love God. Many people are in Christianity for different reasons. Why are you a Christian? Why are you serving him? Why are you in church? Some people are in church because they truly love God. And for those that truly love God, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, no matter the shaking, they will continue to love God. They will continue to serve him. Even if they lose their marriage, even if they lose their job, even if they lose what everything, even though they lose their house, even they lose all their property, they don't care about that. Why? Because they are heavenly, heavenly minded. They don't care about these physical things. I don't care about this materialism anymore. I don't care about cars. I don't care about house. I don't care about all this property that we perish here. I don't care. My passion is for soul now. My passion is for soul. I can inconvenience myself for souls. But not for these material things. People are in church because they truly love God and they want to worship him. Then there are another set of people. They love him halfway and then they love, uh, you know, it's 50-50. They love him halfway. They want to serve him and also they want him to do something for them in return. You are serving God for what he can do to you back. You are loving him because you want him to do something back for you. So your love for him is 50-50. And sometimes, if God did not do that thing you desire, you fall away. Why? Because you are a 50-50 chance. God do this for me. I love him like that. And then there are other people that are in church, not because they love God, but because they are serving him, because they want God to settle their lives. These ones have missed it already. Because if there is a small shaking like this, they will fall away from faith. You are in church. You are here. You are serving God only because of what you want God to do for you. So that is why whenever you come before him, Father God, ah, my job, Father God, ha, I need a husband. Father God, hey, I am out of the children. Everything you are asking, every single day you come before God, you are asking, you are making requests, 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 requests. And your prayer is for only you self-centered. Your prayer is for you alone. You are not praying for the body of Christ. You are not praying for people. You are not standing in the gap for nobody. Every day, two, four, seven, you pray is you. Oh, Father God. Ah, I know you will do it for me. Yeah, you have done it already. Oh. I believe you have done it. Why? Because that is where your mind is. You want him to settle you. You are only serving him. You are pretending to, you don't love God. Even the devil knows it that you don't love God. Oh. So when he gives you a shaking, you will fall by the wayside. Why? Because you are not rooted in his love. There are some that just come. They say in our church, okay, let us go. Anyhow, eh, today is Sunday. Okay, eh, what do you do on Sunday? You go to church. Okay, let us go to church. But your life has nothing to write them about concerning God. There is nothing to show that you are saved. There is nothing to show that you are born again. There is nothing to show that you love God. You are just coming to church because people go to church on Sunday. So you just follow the, you are just, you are just floating and flowing with the multitudes. Floating with the crowd. 
No, in these four categories, which one do you belong to? Because you belong to one of them. He said that you belong to those that love God with all their heart. In season, out of season, nothing will shake you. You will continue to love God. And these people have no regard for their money. They have no regard to anything. They are selfless in their services. They can use their money to support the work of God. They don't struggle even with their tithing. They don't struggle with obedience to the word of God. They obey the word of God to the latter with all their heart, all their mind, all their soul. Why? Because they love God so much. They want to make God happy. And so they live in obedience. Sin is like, sin is like, the sin is, oh, they, you know, they, it, 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 me, sin irritates me now. There was a time I was lying very well. I can lie. There was a time I can, whatever. But now this thing, just the thought of it irritates me. You know, it irritates me now. And that is this kind of people, sin irritates them. And so you, sin is giving you pleasure. You don't love God. If you are still lying, you are still fornicating, you are still, you know, doing, committing adultery, you are still cheating, you are partying, you are still into alcohol, smoking, you are so you don't love God. So you probably belong to the category of people that says, oh, today is Sunday. Let us just go and fellowship. Oh, she's online. Let us go and fellowship. But God also wants you to love him. Elijah was a man that loves God to the core. Elijah spent so much time with God. And that is why God was directing his steps. God was directing his steps. Elijah loved God. Do you love God? Are you humbled before him? Some Christians are the proudest people on this planet earth. They are so proud. Especially because God has blessed you. You have money. So what? Do you not look down on people that don't have this money? Where do you belong? Because everybody on this earth is accountable to God. How we spent our life. Look at that captain full of pride. It cost him his life. Look at the other, the second captain and his 50 men. The same thing. But when the third captain came and acknowledged God and respected the man of God and humbled himself, it gave him solution. So he was not in trouble with the king. Why? Because the angel said to Elijah, go with him. Oh, the king even thought he could bribe Elijah to change the mind of God. My dear, we cannot change the mind of God. Whatever God has ordained and willed must prevail. It takes special grace to do that. Like the king that God told was going to die. He humbled himself. Fasted and prayed and wore sackcloth. And God added to his age, but he still died. He only prolonged the sentence. Whatever God says he will do, he will do. When God told the king's messenger, go tell your king that he will die. Because he went to go seek counsel from the wrong place. Ha! Huh? Be careful where you seek for counsel. Be careful where you seek counsel, beloved. It matters who counsels you. Where you seek for counsel matters. Are you seeking counsel in the right place or in the wrong place? It was until when he was told, ah, it's Elijah. So you knew Elijah was in that town, but you went elsewhere for counsel. You sent them and God passed judgment on him. Be careful the actions and the life you live because there are consequences for every actions we take. There are consequences. And God said to him, you will surely die. Oh, he thought, only one person. 
just one person, one man to go and bring one man. You sent up 50 men. That is to say, go and seize him. Bring him, bring him here by fire, by force. Seize him. Bring him here. Bundle him here was the message. Otherwise, he would have sent only one captain, a captain. He sent 50 men with their captain. Another 50 men with their captain. Another 50 men with their captain. That is by fire, by force, whether dead or alive, bring him here. But God is greater. God is bigger. He couldn't change the mind of God though. When Elijah went with the third one, got to him, and God, Elijah only went there to repeat the same message. Read it. Because you have disobeyed God, because the is there no God in Israel that you'll be going to that uh, Balzibob in 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 uh, in in, in, in Look at that in verse sixteen, and he said unto him, Thus said the Lord, for as much as thou hast sent messengers, for as long, thus saith the Lord, for as long as thou hast sent messengers to inquire of Baal Zebub, the God of Ikron, is it not because there is no God in Israel to inquire of his word? Therefore, thou shalt not come down of that bed. On which thou art gone up, but shall surely die. So he died according to the word of the Lord, which Elijah had spoken. Power in your word. And, Je and, and Jehoram reigned in his stead in the second year of Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, because he had no son. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaziah, which he did, are uh, they not written in the book? So you see what happened. The word of God must prevail. The word of God must prevail. Whatever God has promised you, he will do. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the man of the God is not the son of man. He's not human. He's not man that he should lie. Man can tell you something and change tomorrow. God, his year is ye, his no is no. Whatever promises God has given you, brethren, don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. If God has promised you something, believe. Trust, believe, trust. It must surely come to pass. It must come to pass. It must come to pass. Whatever God says he will do, he will do. But be careful how you serve him. Be honest. Be sincere. Love him. Love him. You carry power. You carry authority. Because he, God, has given us that authority. Use it and use it well. Do are you afraid of the devil? Why are you afraid of witches? Why are you afraid of everything that flies? Even fly, you are afraid. You are afraid to sleep in the night. Because of what? Only because you don't know the son and the daughter of whom you are. You don't know the son and the daughters of whom you are. You do not know the power that is in you. Hey, I just told you how the spirit of God evaporated Philip. And he reappeared elsewhere. And how that same power of the Holy Ghost has delivered somebody from kidnappers. She evaporated and appeared somewhere. That same power that quickened it is still, on, is still available for you and I today. All we need to do is to connect to it. All we need to do is to surrender completely to God. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. With everything you've got, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. When you do that, when you love him like that, you will not struggle with obedience. You will not struggle with obedience. Because when you love somebody, you don't, oh my God, you want to make them happy. 
Even your best friend, you loved up your friend. You will not do anything that he or she hates. Then how come children of God say they love God and you are disobedient to his words? Do you really love God? Set your heart, brethren. Set your heart. You cannot be a Christian for one year, two years, and you are struggling with sin. No. No, sir. No, ma. It is because your heart, the condition of your heart is still not right before your father. Make your ways right with him. I know maybe you want me to prophesy. You want me to, you know, that is what some people now. Oh my God, that is just what is in vogue now. Everybody is a prophet. Everybody is a prophetess. I just come out. I begin to speak, 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 speak what? God has already given us promises. And his promises are in the word of God. Even when the prophecy comes, it is supposed to encourage you and not to put fear in you. Not to put fear in you, but to give you peace. Any prophecy that is creating fear in you, my dear, is from the pit of doom. God's prof words. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God's word is not supposed to bring heaviness to your soul. And so somebody prophesies to you, you can't sleep anymore. Because they have told you all the witch in your village want to kill you. They want to tell you powers in your father's house are against your life. Is that is the prophecy you want to hear? Of course, the devil is here to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Of course, the devil is not happy that you are on your way to heaven. He will fight you. So that is no news. That is no news. If you are a Christian and the devil likes you, you have not started. The devil cannot afford to like you. You are too much for him to handle. You are a threat to him. You are a threat to his kingdom. Why will he like you? So he will fight you, of course. And then somebody is telling you that uh, all the witches and the wizards in your family, they want to kill you this night. So you can't sleep anymore. So you have to come for prayer, fasting and prayer. In fact, you have to send them money to buy salt and, uh, buy salt and whatever it is they want to buy to pray for you. And then you go and empty your account and send it so that they can buy you salt. I even use it to go and bait you in the river. And you are happy. I seek your face. Love God, my beloved. Down at your feet. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added unto you. Did you is it not in your Bible? If a man's ways pleases the Lord. He said he will even cause his enemies to be at peace with him. Is your ways pleasing the Lord? Father, down at your feet, oh Lord. Is your ways right before him? Why will you be afraid of witches and wizards? Why will you be afraid of whatever when you, you are a carrier of the Holy Ghost? Do you not know? Ah. Do you not know that you have angels? From when you got saved, that you have angels? Do you not know that you have angels? That's about. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kneel before your throne. Hey, Bagados. I'm amazed. At your glory and praise, by your mercy, so oh Lord, that I live a little to worship you. There is no higher calling than to bow, hey, and kneel before your throne. I'm amazed at your glory embraced by your mercies alone. 
Father. I live to worship you. Ah, my shandala boss can let it go. See, Katara, da ba ba ba. There is no higher calling, oh, greater honor than to bow and kneel before your throne. I'm amazed. By your glory and praise, by your mercy, so Lord, I live to worship you. Is that your desire? Is that your desire? No greater honor. No greater honor than to bow and kneel before his throne. Money cannot bring such honor. Wealth cannot bring such honor. Disobedience cannot bring such honor. I'm amazed. Hey, the glory of the Lord. At your glory, Lord, and praise. Merciful God, by your mercies, O oh Lord, I live, I live to worship you, I live to worship you, Lord. Is that your heart cry to him? Are you living for him? Are you worshiping him? Maskandala boshi karabosi ndelele boshi kataraba. Hey, I kneel before your throne. I'm amazed. Ah, at your glory, embrace, Lord. By your mercies, O oh Lord, I live to worship you. Oh, if only you will surrender your life to him. Look into your life this hour. The Lord has spoken. Are you convicted? Are you guilty of fear? What if when Elijah saw these soldiers, he becomes afraid? 50, 50 soldiers with this strong captain. Only me one, but Elijah was not a man of fear. He wasn't afraid. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Don't you know that your God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you could ever think or imagine? There is no need to be afraid. No need to be afraid. Begin to surrender to him. Begin to give him your life right now. Begin to ask him for mercy because your father is full of mercies. He is a merciful God. He is a merciful God. He is a merciful God. Ask him for that mercy. Embrace by your mercies, O oh Lord. I live to worship you. I live to worship you. Somebody just surrender to him right now. We want to pray. We want to go. Oh, we want to pray. Check your life. Is your life right with him? Oh, if the trumpet should come now, will you make it to heaven? Are you rapturable? Are you seeking after these material things that will perish here? Have you stopped giving to him? Have you stopped loving him with all your heart? Are you seeking to please yourself first before him? Oh, there is none higher calling, none. Greater honor 
dance ballon and kneel before your throne. I'm amazed at your glory, Lord, embrace by your mercy, so Lord, Father God, I live to worship you, no matter the situation, Lord, whether in plenty, in lack, in want, in need, Lord, I will still worship you. I will continue to love you. Whether I have enough to eat or not. Whether I have my job or not. Whether I have the money or not. I choose to love you anyways. Because you that created all things. You sure do know how to look after me. Lord, what a greater honor. What a privilege it is to bow and to kneel before your throne, Jehovah God. Ah, my shakatalabo de 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 There is none. Are you calling on? Greater honor than to bow, Lord. And I kneel before your throne. I'm amazed by your glory, Lord. By your mercies, O Lord, I live to worship you. You are saying, Lord, take my life, it is yours. I live to worship you. My life is no more mine, but yours, O God. I'm amazed by your glory, embraced by your mercies, O Lord. I live to worship you. Surrender your heart. Surrender your life. Give him all of you and choose to begin to obey him. Oh, Rabagados in the Lebosi Ask him for your for his mercies. Give him surrender your life to him. Tell him you will bow down at his feet all day long. You will kneel before his throne. You will love him. You will serve him. You will worship him. Begin to rededicate yourself to him. You are saying, Lord, I will live to serve you. I will live to worship you. In your presence, hey Jesus, I seek your face, Lord. I seek your face. There is no higher calling, no greater honor. The I know before you, Jesus. What a faithful God we serve. What a loving Father we have. What a loving God we serve. Oh, Lord. We live to worship you, Father. No, no higher calling, no matter your position in life, your higher calling, the highest calling is to bow before his throne in worship, kneel before him in worship and sweet surrender to his name. I'm amazed 
Father, are you rededicating yourself to Him? Jesus, Yahweh, oh my God, we bow down. I bow down, Lord, I worship you. Yahweh 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 Hey Yahweh is for us He is our provider Jehovah Jireh We bow down Hey, we worship, we worship Yahweh. Come on, dedicate yourself to Him. Surrender your heart to Him. Begin to pour Him some love. Pour Him out some love. Pour Him out some love. Pour out your love to Him. Oh, we love you, Father. It takes love to bow before His throne. We pour our loves to you, Father God. We worship Jesus. Hey. Hey. We bow before you, Lord. We pour out our love to you, Father. We pour our hearts out to you, Jesus. Have your way. Come take your place in us. Help us to live life for you, O God. Help us to seek after your kingdom and your righteousness. Oh, Jesus, help us. We bow down, Lord. Help us to love you. To live our lives right for you, Jesus. We worship. Yahweh, Jesus. Oh, just surrender your life to him, brother. Makado Rededicate yourself to him. Ask him for mercy if your life has not been right. Oh, ask him for forgiveness. I begin to make amends. We worship you, Jesus. Begin to speak to your father. Speak to him for yourself. We worship, we worship your majesty.
Are you worshiping him? The only one that can change your story and your situation. Hey! Reketeli bagados kendele bo 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 May your name be glorified, O oh God. May your name be lifted on high, Jesus. We bless you, O oh God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We exalt your name, O oh God. We say, may your name be praised forever. May your name be glorified, Jesus. You are worthy, O oh God, my Father. You are worthy, King of glory. You are worthy, ancient of days. You are worthy, lion of the tribe of Judah. You are worthy, my father, my maker. Shepherd of our soul, we worship you, Lord. We say, may your name be praised, Father. May your name be glorified, O God. May your name be lifted up, O God. You are the giver of life, O God. We come before your throne this hour. Lord, we cry out for mercy, Lord, upon every one of us in this ministry. Lord, online right now that has watched and we watch later, that our lives are not right with you, Father. We cry out for mercy. We cry out for mercy. We cry out for mercy. We cry out out for mercy we cry out for mercy we cry out for mercy lord have mercy on us oh god cleanse us father wash us oh god purify and sanctify us jehovah god let your living water flow over our soul let the holy ghost come take full control of our lives oh god Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for as many, Lord, that have surrendered their lives to you, Father, that you will help us to live holy, that you will help us to live righteous, that you will help us to live in obedience to your words, O oh God. Help us to be faithful to you. Help us to be faithful to you, Jesus. Help us to be faithful to you, Jesus. Kalabo kuteri katosi araba. Riba ga da 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 kureke teli bagado sindala bashi ke de 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 bosi katarabas. Raba gado skendele bosi katarabaku teli bagado si araba. 
Apostle God to live right for you, God. La bagados kendeli bogodosi kataraba. You are Jesus. You are holy, Lord. Lord, we give you praise, O oh God. Even so, Lord, we surrender, Lord. We dedicate ourselves to you, O oh God. We ask that you will take over our lives, O oh God, our Father. In the name of Jesus. You are Jesus. Rabagados kendelele bosi kataraba kuteri katosi agada. Father, we ask that you will draw us nearer to you, O God. Lord, that you will give us grace to be faithful to you, Jesus. Grace to live in obedience to your words and instructions, Lord. Grace to please you, not ourselves, O God. Grace to study and understand your word. Grace to live above self and sin, O God. Lord, we ask for this grace upon our lives, Father God. Ripa katolike te sindala bakute ri agadabash. Oh, Father, we thank you. We are nothing without you, oh God. We cannot go far, Lord, in life without you, Father. Lord, today we just pray, Lord, that you will help us, oh God, to love you. To love you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our being, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you will help us, O oh God, to live our lives for you, to live a life that is pleasing unto you, O oh God, our King. That we will not seek to please ourselves, O oh God, but you, O oh God, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in us, O oh God. We acknowledge you, Lord, as our Lord and personal Savior, Lord. We yield, we surrender to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in us, O oh God. Have your way in us. Have your way in us, Father. Have your way in us. Have your way in us. Have your way in us, Lord. Have your way in us, Father. In the name of Jesus. Kerebosi katalabashi andarabas. Likarabos kendelebosi intelelelebosi katori garabashi andarabosi. Father, help us to be committed to your ways. Help us to be committed to your will. Help us to be committed to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Take over our lives, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen and amen. I want to encourage you, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added unto you. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind and your soul. And it will be well with you. Seek right counsel. Seek right counsel. Don't go to the wrong place for advice and counsel. Somebody that is that is not in the will of God. How can you go there to go take counsel? Don't take counsel from the wrong places, please. Do away with charms and all this rubbish they are sending you from your home, from your town. Even though you are abroad, they are still sending you all this nonsense, concussions, charms. Throw them away because they are powerless. They will not save you from death. They will not take you to heaven. It's not doing anything for you. Throw them away. Seek God. Love God. Walk in his will. And everything will be well with you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart for everything you need in life. Don't lean on to your own understanding that you know how it should go or how it shouldn't go. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. Let him direct and guide you. He will direct your path. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. I pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you this year. He will cause his face to shine upon you. So that you will not miss his will and his plan for your life. Hey, my God. That you will not miss his purpose. His will, his plan for you. May he give you grace to be faithful. That this year will be your best year. In the name of Jesus. God bless all of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night rest. Remember that Jesus is Lord. This is the second broadcast. The first one was there because um, network cut us off. And so we came up, we came with it. We came the second time. So please go and watch the first one so you can get the full message. God bless you. Love you guys. Have a wonderful night rest. Read your Bible. Study your Bible. Pray. Fast. Oh, talking about fasting. Our 24 hours fast is coming up on Monday night to Tuesday night. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. on Monday. 7 p.m. on Monday to 7 p.m. on Tuesday. 24 hours in God's presence. So make sure you are ready for that fast. 24 hours in God's presence. Monday, 7 p.m. to Tuesday, 7 p.m. Be ready. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Good night and bye-bye.